welcome to Burns' Simple Solutions for Committing Suicide. We will show you a few techniques and procedures for committing suicide with the help of my good friend Fred. Fred here will be the demonstrator. He will show you exact techniques on how to kill yourself. Let's go. Okay, so we'll start with cutlery. Kitchen knife, scissors, box cutter, Fred's favorite, sword. So, what we'll start with is slitting your wrists. You're going to want to pull back your sleeves, expose the wrists, and cut across the river, not down or you could slit your throat. Very perfect technique, Fred. Same can be done with scissors and even the box cutter. Now with the sword, you could, but it's better to go Japanese style. Oh, you're so funny, Fred. All right. Let's move on to something else. If you don't want people to know right away how you died, you can always use drugs. Simple and easy. A couple examples such as pills. Prescription's the best. A little heroin never hurt anybody. And even a little cocaine. Suffocation's always an easy way to go. First, you just need to find some rope-like material. A belt will work just fine. Wrap it around your neck. And pull. Preferably hang it to something on the ceiling. And you could hang and There's no way you're getting out of that. Plastic bag. Excellent for suffocation. See? He's not getting any air at all. It works great. You can always raid your toolkit. Items such as a hammer, you can beat yourself repeatedly in the head. Oh, the trusty razor blade. Remember, cross the river. Oh, and who could forget the electric drill? Just plug in a bit and pull the trigger. Alcohol poisoning sure is a tasty way to go. But if you don't have a taste for alcohol, you can always play Swallow the Stuff Under the Sink. Main thing is is to use your imagination. When committing suicide, anything goes, as long as you die. Idea. Let's go play Swallow the Stuff Under the Sink.